Welcome back to the Blitz. Vista Ridge and Cheyenne Mountain both face adversity early in the season. The Wolves lost two of their first three games, and since then, they've rattled off four consecutive wins, while Cheyenne Mountain lost two games, their first two games, and uh, they've won three out of their last five contests. Let's go to Cheyenne Mountain High School, teeing it up tonight. Pick it up in the second half. Cheyenne down a touchdown. Bryce Archibald to my main man, Oscar Waterhouse. Look at those yak yards. Gets it into the red zone, and then later on, Archibald throwing it across the middle, but it is tipped, and Austin Larson is going to come up with the INT for the Wolves, and then Nashawn Hall. Boy, he's been running the ball well of late. Look at that little juke move, and Hall, is he going to beat them all? No, he gets shoved out, and then it's Ben Noblet to Sonny Endicott. Wolves win 42-32. to Pueblo Central and Sierra from Sierra High School Central's Gennaro Pino finds Amari Brown. Nice grab there. And then Michael Montoya gets into the end zone, just bullies his way in. Sierra forced to punt here. The punt, it is blocked. Gage Esserita recovers it. And it would set up this, Eminem. Montoya, have fun trying to tackle him. He's big, he's nimble on his feet, and he scores. Central wins 42 to eight. Palmer and Widefield from C.A. Foster. Ah, the band ready at Widefield for this one. Tyson Sharpton, Dyson, pardon me, Sharpton. Ooh, look at him get away. Look at him stay on his feet. Staying in bounds. Sharpton with a touchdown. Terrors with a score there. And then Wisefield's Jalen Sankey gonna receive the kickoff. Scoops it up. Sankey can. Sankey will get outside. Is he gonna score? Oh, tripped up there. But then Paul Mitchell, the senior QB, the catalyst for the Glads offense, rolling right. And he finds Tate Washington. Glads win 17 to seven. Sand Creek and Woodland Park. We take it to the city above the clouds. We were everywhere tonight, like we always are. Terrence Clay finds Elijah Brotherins, one of the top receivers in Southern Colorado. And then little Pete here from Woodland Park, Mateo Pizarro and Dane Campbell get to the QB. Panthers defense. All over it again. Getting after the QB. Another sack. And then later, Marquise Schoenberger finds Parker Shreve. And Shreve is gone. Touchdown. But St. Creek would win 26 to 18. To the Dutch we go. Dutch Clark Stadium. Harrison and Pueblo Centennial. Harrison and Hop pursuit tonight. Darian Marion. That rhymes. And he sacks the QB. And then Josiah Evans. He's going to be met by a host of Bulldogs defenders, but the Panthers get it going on the ground. Carlos Prescito runs it in for a touchdown. And how about this? Ryan Martinez flings it to Ruben Sanchez. I'll have a Ruben and a touchdown. Harrison wins, though. 41 to 7. Alamosa and Manitou Springs from Richardson Field. We began with Carter Tomsima of the Mean Moose. That's a score. And then Donovan Ornelius is going to be intercepted by Michael Motts. And then we got the tip drill here by the Mean Moose. Ball is up and picked by Landon Garcia. Alamosa, they went 36 to 14. How about Doherty tonight? having the juice at Gary Berry Stadium against Westminster. Leland Fresquez hits Logan Hutchinson across the middle. Then Solomon Latimer, the catch, uh, excuse me guys, cuts back. This kid is sensational. He could not be brought down. Solomon Latimer, the touchdown. Sparta wins 70 to 34. How about a little eight man football for you? South Park and St. Mary's, first quarter. Michael Trechter rolling out, finds Ryan Straub. Wow, good ball there. Gets behind the D for the score. Then later, it's Trechter 
going to tuck it and run. He's got some blockers downfield. Well executed play. And the Pirates win their second game of the year, 53 to 28. All right, 